Okay, I talked about this before, but this is just another Blu-ray update because I feel like talking when I have an open space, more, more of an open space. So, I talked about Blu-rays and how it's being overused for a lot of stuff. And I still feel like that. There's certain shows I just refuse to buy on Blu-ray. Um, for instance, um, sadly, Stargate was upscaled very poorly, and all these fans are calling it a, a great upscale remat, or they'll call it a remaster. It, I, I can't agree with these people. Stargate was a disaster. The original Blu-rays for Atlantis looked pretty good. Um, I imagine, how do I put this one now? The Stargate Blu-ray was horrible, the one I put in now, the VEI made. What I don't understand about current collectors right now is they're okay with third parties making Blu-rays for TV shows. Third parties don't have access to the same, the same um, resources that a full-fledged studio like Universal or MGM or whatever it is, even though I heard MGM was doing bad. I don't know anything about it. I don't get that technical. But people are okay with, with um, VEI or um, Mill Creek to redo all your sets, and people actually spend money on them. I learned my lesson from Mill Creek. I gave them like three or four chances to do a decent job, and they never did it. I said the most decent job they did was probably Knight Rider because a lot of the stuff looked very upscaled and it looked somewhat HD, but the sound was out of sync, completely out of sync. So um, I don't know what to say with that. I mean, um, it's just that's Mill Creek, um, and I told you about other stuff like Mill Creek. I say it again. Um, they redid, uh, what's it called? Um, damn it, Magnum P.I. I never looked at that, so I can't tell you what that looks like. Miami Vice looked pretty bad. Had a lot of glitches and def defective um, discs. Then you have um, sh Quantum Leap. I gotta say, it looked very good, but it didn't look HD. It looked like a very refined DVD presentation. So really, um, in a lot of people actually think because something comes on Blu-ray, it has to look super HD and really good. A lot of times, they just stuff a bunch of episodes on the disc and call it quits. Um, it's like they stuff. That's what they did. They did with Stargate. Look at Stargate. They stuffed six episodes, five or six episodes on a disc. Um, these co third party companies take no time with their restoration. So I don't know how anyone can call all these releases really good. I, I, can't, I can't say some of them have been really good. Um... A recent good one was um, the eighteen. That was a very good re um, release um, and on Blu-ray. You got something like um, also. Oh, you'd have to say a good release was um, shit. Uh, sh shares. That was a sitcom, but that was only on Blu-ray. That looked pretty good though for how old it was. Um, then you got Frasier. Uh, from my understanding, Frasier looks a lot of better in the, in the latest seasons. And they say that about Stargate. But I put the latest season of Stargate in, and it looked horrible still. So um, don't tell me it looks better. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's for Frasier. But that was a Blu-ray remaster, not a 4K. And if you look at 4Ks, they're kind of doing the same thing, but at least they look slightly better than the Blu-rays. Not marginally, really, 
barely notice it. Slightly, in my opinion, slightly is a little better than mod, than a small margin. That makes no sense, but whatever. So, what if we, what are we going to remaster next? First of all, a lot of these shows should have been remastered a long time ago. Um, they're doing this because there's nothing t left to release on Blu-ray except for new stuff. Um, I'd be surprised movies like, um, shows like T um, Magnum P.I. or The A-Team or um, Quantum Leap, stuff like that, were never made on Blu-ray up until more than halfway through the format. And as I said, with all the formats, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K, I believe will die at exactly the same time. I mean, they're all released right now. Every new movie has a DVD, pretty much, a Blu-ray, and a 4K. The last time I remember a movie that didn't come out on 4K but came out on Blu-ray was a movie, I forgot what it was called. I don't remember what it was. It was, um, I think Julia Roberts was in it. Or oh, maybe not. I don't remember. But um, there was... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But still, I think it was, it was a hit killer in it or something. But um... Yeah, that's it. So, everyone knows how I feel about that. Um, but double dipping, we all say we don't like du double dip on stuff, but we all buy stuff. See, when I buy older formats, they say, well, why you... I complain a lot about remasters. Yeah, because when you buy remasters, remasters, you expect them to look really good. When you buy something old like a laser disc, you you pretty much know exactly what you're going to get. And um, with a remaster, it's a different story. You expect a, an upscale that looks really good, and it doesn't. Um, I like the I actually somewhat like the Babylon upscales because there was a lot in the very first episode. Not the um, original pilot, that looked horrible, but the very first episode was an upscale. A lot of it looked a Blu-ray, but um, the special effects were original and they didn't upscale them. It looked good. So, I don't know what, what they're going to do. There's, um, I Love Lucy, you know, there's no special effects in it, so... Everything looked excellent in that. Even the original 1950s pilot, that looked worse than the season one, but it still looked pretty good. All right, well, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.